43% from there in conference play. And then for Liberty, Matt, we already saw some of it. You gotta play in the post. It's gonna be for losing at UNF on Saturday. And really been playing well. McGee gets in the paint, has that one rattle in and out. You drive that basketball, you're always aware of where Kevin Samuel's located. And even if he doesn't get to it, you feel like he may, may just affect it. Yeah, he's lurking around there, and they'll do a good job. The Eagles will kind of funneling penetrators right into the big guy. Don Martin, the scoop and the score. Turns around, couldn't get it to fall. He worked hard to get that look, just didn't get it to drop. Don Martin now with Keegan McDowell on it. Creates some space, spinning, takes the bump, and he'll get to the free throw line for a couple. Yeah, but Brody does a real nice job coming to the opposite side, using the rim and the net for some protection. Bob inside to Weir. Get it back in the hands of Dunn Martin. Richie got himself free, knocks down the baseline jumper to score. Season tickets. He gets both free throws. He has seven points in the first half. And Liberty has fought their way back after all that. Lead. And they're still not shooting great from three. Dunn Martin yeah. draws the foul. And Kyle's been shooting so well from the floor. Richie tries to answer. That's off the mark. The long rebound into the hands of Dunn Martin. Yeah. Good tap out by Weir. He couldn't corral it. Pokes it out to his point guard. Hit on the shot clock, Dunmartin sizes it up. Zay yeah. Warfield fires over the top of him and gets it to go. Yeah, Zay's got to learn that when it got there. Interesting, they kept Shiloh on him. The lob nice. ahead, Shiloh tracks it down and missed the layup. Second time tonight, Robinson's had a look at the rim, has it converted, and then quickly the other way, Largy lays it. Strategic move by Coach McKay. Blake will remain on the floor. FGCU looking for some offense here in the second half. Largy is in their leading score tonight. Going to work on Kyle Rowe, lost the handle, and fortunate that one rolled its way to Austin Ritchie. Ten on the shot clock, Dunmartin direct in traffic. Gets to the paint, close by Shiloh Robinson, and Shiloh commits the foul. Keegan McDowell had a look, passed up on it, now a little runner in the lane, and that one just trickles off. Quickly the other way. See if FGCU can get that tempo game going a little bit. And Martin doing whatever he can to try to free himself again. Goes by Robinson. Oh, the pretty move off the window. 12 tonight. Look, there, there, they're going one on one. That's Bob right. Here. The other end. Oh, look at the little. That's what he did. Double team comes. McDowell gets it. Pump fakes. Frees himself. Open look off the mark. Got a clean look, couldn't knock it down. Uh -oh. Dunn Martin has steam. Look out to the rim, bucket in the foul. Tavy fit in. Not enough players do that. When you're the shooter, not enough players can levitate. <laughs> yeah, he just kind of hang in midair for a little bit. Dunn Martin, Dunn Martin with the Eagles. Dunn Martin, I'll put it on the net. Step back, triple on the way. That's short. And look at Anderson go up and over the top of Brody Peebles. Gets it back to Dunn Martin, will drive, runner in the lane, that goes down. It's a little handoff. You'll see both defenders kind of, at least for a second, they put their eyes on Darius McGee. Blake makes a nice roll and a good find by Darius and a finish. Anderson on the wing to get it right back to Dunn Martin. Everything goes to number five. Yeah, Big Sam, you're going to come out. They're going to try to do a little screen and roll. Oh, uh, what a finish. <laughs> Big Sam could not tonight. They are really on the same wavelength on that screen and roll. A couple nice dunk finishes. Seventh assist for McKee. He may flirt with the triple double tonight. He's got 16, 9, and 7. The lead up to six. This crowd coming alive. Dunn Martin oh, oh, oh. silences them for the moment. Driving. Looking to kick out. McGee. He'll take his turn. Stops. Couldn't get it to fall. Dunn Martin lost it. But FGCU keeps possession. Dunn Martin deep triple. And he gets it to fall. He's unconscious. A four point Liberty advantage. This Liberty Arena crowd starting to rise to its feet. Yeah. Everything running through Tavian Dunn Martin. And why not? He gets to the rim and lays it in for Kyle Rhodes gonna drive now. Stops, turns around, 
little short. The rebound goes to FGCU, and here come the Eagles. And I think Kyle could have just sort of taken that all the way to the rim off the dribble. Deep three on the way, yeah. and it's pure. When he some offense, clear out for number five. Step back, now trying to drive on McGee. Darius makes him give it up. He gets it right back, 12 on the shot clock, and a foul call on McGee on a three. John Martin gets the job done at the line. 32 second half points. Latavian Dun Martin. Yeah, program record, and they had some great players. A program record, 41 for Dun Martin. He'll have the basketball to start the overtime. Flames leaving Isaiah Warfield on it. Did a great job on that last FGCU possession of the ball game. The three from the wing, that goes down. Austin Ritchie, just his second bucket. Dun Martin, looking down low, beats Samuel. Had trouble getting the handle, still able to get it up off the... Dun Martin's hands, makes somebody else go to the free throw line that's not used to doing that. Easier said than done. Yeah, good Dun job by FGCU to... Get it into the hands. Carried this team offensively in the second half when they had to have it. Darius McGee missed badly again from beyond the arc. And that will all but do it. FGCU lobbing and finishing. John Martin gets the job done at the line. 32 second half points. Latavian Dunmartin. Martin. Yeah, program record and they've had some great players.